The one and only Richard Southern joins us now. Hello, Richard. Happy Monday, Cynthia. Happy how are Monday. You? I'm good. How was your weekend? It was good. Yeah. It was nice, relaxing. Good. What about you? Same. It was good. wonderful. Did some gardening. All good. Yeah, how's the vegetables coming in? I don't do vegetables. No, well, the, the raccoons will eat That's them. True. The squirrels, like, That's there's true. no point. But let's talk about real estate for a moment. Yeah. Not that I have a big house. I have a tiny little postage stamp backyard. Uh, as Canadian real estate prices soar, one nonprofit is lowering its threshold to help people. Habitat for Humanity, mm -hmm. you know, they do this great work where they build people homes. They've also, for decades, been offering uh, Canadians uh, no money down um, mortgages for those who wouldn't otherwise qualify, like for low-income people. Mm -hmm. They've changed the threshold now. Uh, so you could be making $100,000 as a family in Toronto and qualify for one of these low-income loans. 100000 It's reflective of where the housing market has gone. It's not... But a family can't survive on 100000 in this city right now. Absolutely not. And the CEO of Habitat for Humanity, you know, with an interview saying, hey, we're not trying to help out wealthy people. We're doing what we've always done. He says people may have expected that a combined income of hundred k, uh, you know, a family would be doing well with that. The reality is... They they're aren't. not. They're not. It's too hard, especially with the rising fuel and grocery prices. It's just too much. And even if you're renting, we had the news last week. The average July one-bedroom uh, rental price in Toronto in excess of 2,500 now. So it's just expensive all around. So. Ouch! Definitely a big ouch. Okay. Meanwhile, a new report from the U.S. suggests even some of the highest earners are still trust stressing about their finances. Yeah, this kind of relates to what we're talking about. Uh, Bloomberg News asked, you know, pretty wealthy individuals. They asked. A thousand people making at least 175,000 a year, putting them in the top 10% of tax filers, uh, how they felt about their finances. And 25% said they felt very poor or poor, making 175K or more. Some of the respondents making 5 million were among those that said they felt flat broke. Wow. I, I wish I was feeling flat broke at five million dollars <laughs> a year. So I mean there's two things at play here. Obviously mm -hmm. the cost of living has risen dramatically and wages haven't. But people may have also uh, over over borrowed. As Absolutely. Well. Because right. interest rates were so cheap, you mm -hmm. lever up and now if you're making that type of money, you might very well be feeling the pinch and you might right. very well be actually pretty poor on paper. Definitely. All right. Interesting. Well, okay. These people don't feel poor, I'm sure. Just a few days after Jose Bautista officially retired from baseball. I loved that, by the way, that yeah. he was a J for a day so he could retire. I think that's the best. Limited edition bobbleheads of the superstar are selling at wonderfully Big high money. prices. Now, this is one of the things I did on the weekend was watch this great pregame uh, ceremony they had for Bautista. And every, well, the first 20,000 fans of that game, they got this great bobblehead and it depicts his famous bat flip the bobblehead oh i remember that bat flip I that was, was that amazing that I was that were that you game. it was crazy i got covered in beer cynthia it was <laughs> i bet it I was bet. so fun anyways a very cool bobblehead and it's so in demand now that they're going on ebay for two hundred dollars or more because jay's nice. fans want their hands on this they only gave away twenty thousand interesting well twenty thousand is still a lot it's but two hundred bucks that's pretty good and they got it for free they got it for free nice. and bobbleheads have historically actually some of them uh sold for for pretty good money it's actually not a bad little investment to squirrel away some of these bobbleheads all right. right do you collect bobbleheads i don't not, I not do I. I'm waiting for the Cynthia Mulligan bobblehead. Where's the city <laughs> news line? Oh, geez. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, you'll be back at what time? 640. Interesting right. stories report. Perfect. See you then. See you then.